people who might not have heard Jay Dilla, but they heard his music. Whether it's Tribe Called Quest, Common, Buster Rhymes, The Roots, Janet Jackson, name goes on and on and on. So every three, five months, we take on a well-known artist. And the first one was Jay Dilla. And Jay Dilla kind of epitomized the whole concept of what Unloop is about. One, he's a collaborator. Two, he did a lot of hip-hop, but also influenced a lot of electronic music, which Unloop goal was to expose people to electronic music with a twist. Because if the average person has their preconceived notions of what electronic music is, and they think it's like Night in the Roxbury, just boom, 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 boom. There's a whole gamut of like types of genres, subgenres of electronic music. So the best way to do that and expose them is probably partner, get an electronic producer or DJ, and partner up with different people from different bands, different genres, and bring them together. So it gives them a chance to showcase what they can do, and people can see that electronic music is more than that. It can do more than that than just boom, boom, boom. And so that's where Dilla came from. You know, I played an Unlooped already with a, a guitarist in town called, uh, named Alan Cote, and uh, it was a beautiful experience. I didn't really know Alan at the time, and Tariq put us together because he has a magical uh, awareness of what artists need to meet each other. And so he and I rehearsed several times and performed and it went really well. But the beautiful thing is uh, a friendship blossomed out of that. The way some of the samples cut in and out, even just little bits of voices and instruments, bits and pieces, it's, it's orchestrated in a way that you could capture with a you know, classical mindset. The way they wanted to pull together a string quartet with DJs with this seemed appropriate to me because if you really listen to Jay Dilla's works, it's really composed music. It's put together as a hip hop beat, but it's composed on the same level that any other music is. As we got into our flow and we got to know each other better, it became more natural and felt like a team as, a, as opposed to a bunch of different players trying their own thing. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to work together in the future. It's the same stuff. It's the same invention. You know, taking like simplistic forms of music and creating something. All of the ideas that maybe they had set in place would be challenged. You know, I, I just think it's really important when you walk away asking questions. Because isn't that what a good teacher does? Well, I knew a Jay Dilla. Um, of all the things that he's done in his amazing career, but this is really my first time that I've actually gone off and tried to do something classically related on, on the cello and in collaboration with uh, electronic music. Uh, everything that we're doing is completely free for, based a lot on an, an improvisation and uh, just being able to like feel what you uh, are, the energy from the crowd and feel the energy from uh, the people that you're playing with and coming up with something completely original. You know, people seem to be in their own little worlds, you know, hip hop's over here, rock's over here, you know, and hopefully bring these different artists from different genres, different backgrounds together. Let's do an album together. You know, that they've never done before, you know, they've never met. He achieved later in life is just, just digging and musing, just experimenting, playing with stuff, and just having fun. My name is Tariq Moody. Um, I'm also DJ 88.9 Radio Milwaukee. I created a loop series along with John Gelsner from MSE, aka Beats Working, back in 2010. Took a hiatus. We're back with a new series called Versus. <laughs>